Intelligence Report. Electronic copy below as per Federal Records Act. UIU file 2018-479. Gentleman Thief. Summary. Subject use anomalous capabilities to rob various banks and properties both across the United States and internationally. The subject leads and works with a criminal organization known as K9A to authorities. Suspect. Name unknown, alias Canis Anthus. Irregularity cross reference human, espionage, hostile. Physical description. Sex, male, height, 72 inches, weight and build, unknown, medium, race, Caucasian, hair, black, eyes, blue, identifying attributes, a Nubian jackal mask, navy blue suit, and golden rod shirt. Capabilities. Suspect has an anomalous property wherein they can produce explosions approximating 2 kilograms from their fingertips. These explosions, however, do not injure humans nor structural architecture. They appear to only affect safes. Purpose motive. Unknown. Large sums of donated money matching the total value of stolen property occur one or two days after the theft. Monetary gain does not seem to be main motive for the suspect. Modus operandi. Suspect will rob banks or mansions, usually during large gatherings or parties. They are nearly always assisted by the persons going by the name Canis Lupus and Canis Laterans. Behavior. Suspect, from witness interviews, is described as endearing and kind-natured. It is unsure if there is a true evaluation of the suspect's character or the result of untreated Stockholm Syndrome. Evidence A. Fingerprint match. Fingerprint analysis between found prints at various crime scenes match with 97% confidence. These fingerprints do not match with any known criminals in the FBI database. B. Surveillance camera footage. The suspect has been captured on multiple surveillance footage from several crime scenes wearing the same attire. The build and appearance of the subject remains consistent throughout all footage. C. Foundation Incident SCP Beep A. The subject was involved in a containment breach involving SCP Beep A. The subject infiltrated Site 81 and interacted with Data Remove, assisting SCP Beep A in the third escape of Site 81. D. Anubis Mask. An Anubis mask worn by the suspect found shattered at the scene of a robbery by the explosive force. The fingerprints on the mask coincide with those found on the safe present at the crime scene. Bureau record. Current status. In process of apprehending. Crimes. Multiple counts of aggravated robbery. Three counts of armed robbery. Sentencing. Indefinite detainment. History of UIU action. Late 2015. The UIU is alerted after several reports from Pennsylvania authorities of a string of bank robberies where explosives were used in high effect. However, bystanders were never injured during these heists. April 1st, 2016. The suspect was involved in the Site 81 containment breach regarding SCP Beep A. The UIU was the third full operational investigation of the suspects. June 23rd, 2017. Operational investigation was transferred back to the SCP Foundation after no progress was made on the case for over a year. File revision available. Update. Intelligence report. Electronic copy below as per Federal Records Act. UIU file. 2018-479. Gentleman Thief. Thank you. I love the nickname. Summary. Subject use skill to rob various banks and properties both across the United States and internationally. The subject leads to works with the, that's a bit rude, I'd say more, uh, thievery, organization known as Kennedy to authorities. Name, Janus, Ashikawa Gorimon, Robin Hood, Sheldon Hines, etc. I had many, to say the least. 
alias Canis Anthus. Irregularly cross-referenced. Hmm. Physical description. Sex. Male. Height. 74 inches. Weight. Build. Unknown medium. Race. It depends on the day, really. Hair. Black. Eyes. Blue. Identifying attributes. A Nubian jackal mask. Navy blue suit. And golden watch shirt. Capabilities. Suspect. As in courtesy of your government, they wanted to use it for faking attacks to start proxy wars. Pentagram, such a devious, devilish name. It fits. When they can produce explosions approximating two kilograms from their fingertips. These explosions, however, do not injure humans, nor structural architecture. They appear to only affect safes. Purpose, motive, unknown. Large sums of donated money matching the total value of stolen property occur one or two days after the theft. Monetary gain does not seem to be the main motive of the suspect. Oh, good! I was afraid you wouldn't have noticed. Sometimes they'd be very obtuse with things, I've learned. Modus operandi. Suspect will rob banks and mansions, usually during large gatherings or parties. They are nearly always assisted by the highly talented, skilled, and totally awesome persons go by the name King's Lupus and King's Ladrins. I apologize for Ladrins outburst. Behavior suspect from witness interviews is described as endearing and kind natured. I don't like hurting people. After all, we only take those who can shoulder the head and should have already. Evidence. A. Fingerprint match. Fingerprint analysis between found prints at various crime scenes match with 97% confidence. These fingerprints do not match with any known criminals in the FBI database. You won't find it, I assure you that. B. Surveillance camera footage. The suspect has been captured on multiple surveillance footage from several crime scenes wearing the same attire. Hey, I prefer to call it a style, you know? The build and appearance of the subject remains consistent throughout all footage. No crap. C. Foundation Incident SCP Beep A. I never leave anybody behind, especially if they helped me out in the past. They're not a bad person. D. Anubis Mask. An Anubis Mask worn by the suspect, found shattered at the scene of a robbery by an explosive force. The fingerprints on the mask coincide with those found in a safe present at crime scene. That was my favorite mask too. Damn shame. I accidentally double-loaded the explosives on that safe. Glad to know nobody got hurt. Current status. Ain't happening. Crimes. Multiple counts of aggravated robbery. Three counts of armed robbery. Sentencing. Indefinite detainment. History of UIU action. Late 2015, the UIU is alerted after several reports from Pennsylvania authorities of a string of bank robberies where explosives were used in high effect. However, bystanders were never injured during these heists, as they shouldn't. April 1st, 2016, the suspect was involved in the Site 81 containment breach regarding SCP Beep A. The UIU was the third full operational investigation of the suspect. June 23rd, 2017, operational investigation was transferred back to the SCP Foundation after no progress had been made on the case for over a year. Could work overall. Keep it up. Canis Anthus. New file version available. Update. This file has been deleted due to unauthorized edits. Please see your supervisor if you believe this is an error.